hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five round in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a grappler, holding professional record of 30 wins, 13 losses. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Rafael dos Anjos. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 9 losses. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Daniel the Hangman Hooker! All right, Griffin, you're losing the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. underway very compelling matchup for fight fans around the world and gonna be very interesting to see how soon the grappler goes for the takedown well he's gonna try to get the takedown right away but when he shoots that shot when he changes that level he is going to be shooting into a guy that truly understands all aspects of mixed martial arts i'm wondering how if his first shot doesn't work does he approach trying to get this fight to the ground Really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Continues to mix it up over the head, mixing in some body shots. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, nice punch there by Dos Anjos. Head kick attempt, but the fighter got the right hand up. He loaded up on that right hand, too. And that one certainly found the target. Try to establish that jab. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Hooker. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Oh, how about the transition to the ankle pick? Now we will see where he goes from here. Top position. What a beautiful takedown, but he just waited for one second and his opponent reacted before he could secure top position. In attack of Norbar. Arm has been isolated, but he picks him up and slams him down. He lifted him through the air, slammed him on his back, and moved right in the side control to get out of danger. Beautiful job to not just turn defense into offense, but also to end up in a dominant position. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Rafael Dos Anjos. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Hooker getting worked here from the top. Grounded pound strikes raining down. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Oh, wow, that happened 
quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Dosan Joseph's back in full mount. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop us. He better start to move. Continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Sanchez gets hit by that leg kick. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Hooker. Beautiful counter punch, really settling in when it comes to his counter attack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. What a punch. Don Joseph's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Nice one, two there. Oh, and a nice jab by him there. And that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps in. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. And now he's got the tie clinch. Nice kick there by Rafael Dos Anjos. Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice combination there, and might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off yeah. the center. He was landing one before. Now he's throwing everything in combination, and they're all landing. Round two straight ahead. A lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. Second round underway. How good is that right hand? Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Gets the elbow up into the target. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, so he postures up here, and now figures to rain down some ground strokes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Both fighters back to their feet now. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Nice counter right hook there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Well, that is exactly how you turn defense into offense. Catches the kick and dumps him on the mat. What a great job timing that kick, driving into his opponent and putting him on his back. RDA gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Sanchez trying to faint his way in. Right hand upstairs. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very... Catches the right, so he catches the kick and promptly counters with the takedown and puts him on his back. Nicely done there. 
he knew exactly what he was doing. He knew if he had an opportunity to secure a leg off of his kick, he would go right to his takedown, and it worked perfect. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Dos Sanjos' lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do next. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Rafael Dos Anjos. Oh, he's back up again. You got to like that. Oh, can't put any weight on it. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, nice. Big body kick land. Plus right hand is true. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? The right hand just misses. Hooker's head kick is blocked. No damage there. Beautiful body. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Getting tighter. being applied here. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. got to defend. We can see him now start the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. Are you ready? Are you ready? It's Third over. round underway. Nice punch by Hooker. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Ooh, blocks the shot. There he goes, moves to his back. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Dos Anjos. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Right under the elbow, body kick lands. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. measure beautiful kicks well he continues to stay busy what do they say DC punches in bunches punches in bunches he's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again look at him chopping the wood chop the wood with those leg kicks Press 
awesome. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he slams his opponent to the canvas. I think the octagon shaking, DC. The octagon was shaking. Somebody secure the doors because they are going to blow the roof off of this place. Three minutes to go in round three. Switching stances here. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landing. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him off. Go get him. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, close guard now. Be, now he hip escapes. Maybe a triangle opportunity here, DC. Yeah, he's throwing the legs up. His opponent needs to get both arms out of there, or he's going to attack this triangle. Posturing up now, then he's out. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Hook. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. <laughs> Back to the jab now. No good. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace. And great timing with that beautiful takedown. Oh, he might have got him in the choke. Oh, wow. Strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Hooker. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Great punch landed with so much power. This could change the fight. Another take down the land. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Well, he's got his back now. So you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Good work from the top here by Rafael Dos Anjos. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Final seconds of round three. Oh, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Three rounds in the can, we're headed to the championship. All right, so that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown game. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you, drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands this type of grind most guys can't keep up with. All right, well, we'll see if his opponent can make the Ready? requisite adjustments. Ready? He got taken down left and so right there that previous round. It's going to be very difficult because he never got a specific type of takedown. It right. was always something different, but it always led to his opponent getting great top position. Good punch, Lance. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective tonight. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Wow! Beautiful diving strike lands. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. So Sancho's going to work from guard here. Nice combination of strikes there. Very efficient, very effective. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Nice 
moving to half guard shades of Daniel Cormier slicing through that goal. Unbelievable, I love it. Like a knife through butter. What a great job, Pass. Hooker's got a bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Watch right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, that's a nice strike. Jab there by Hook. Three minutes now to go in this one. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Hooker. Ooh, what a punch. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Well, you got to think he's going to enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. Woo! He's got him hurt here. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked. The hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Big kick lands. Just out of range with the big right hand. Look at the angle of that nice body. So Sanchez gets caught with that punch. Visibly limping here. Dos Anjos not having it. Jockeying for position here in the clinch. Both fighters trying to get a more dominant position. That shot is blocked by Hooker. Oh, that's a good right hand. Oh! and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Lands flush with that right hand. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. One minute now to go in round four of a possible five. Close guard. Good, solid strike on the ground. Nice hammer fist. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, stack guard here. The feet are on the hips. What are you trying to do if you're in top position? Oh, man, you're attacking those feet right away because you understand that the guy with the feet on the hip, all he has to do is just extend his legs. Right. He's a grown man that's pushing you off as you're trying to build into him. Attack the feet with your hands, head and chest back, lead with your hips, pass the feet, drive your knee forward, try to get the side control. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four, 20 minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. The cut on his lip is only getting worse. We've kept an eye on it tonight. The cut man is gonna have to do some work here to try to prevent that from becoming more of a factor here in this next round. All right, so a big knockdown in that last round, DC. We'll show you the replay. Nearly had him out of there. He almost had him out. He had him gone. He hurt him real bad. He thought the fight was over, but the night will go on. The dance continues. Will this be the final dance? We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, and he connects with the punch. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now. TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and 
chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at 18 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Rafael Dos And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands.